We begin tonight with students fighting back against a fake university with the revival of a lawsuit. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Mike Duffy. This is a story that we've been following for a few years. Federal ICE agents targeted and recruited foreign students into signing up for classes at the University of Farmington. But it turned out to be a fake school at the center of a sting operation that was meant to root out student visa fraud. It ended with hundreds of deportations. Well, tonight, 7 News Detroit's Kimberly Craig talked to two students trying to get their life back on track and an attorney on the case. It was called the University of Farmington and it was housed here in this office building on Northwestern Highway. And hundreds of foreign students say they were caught up in the Fed's fake university. Everything they showed us was real. But all of it, the acceptance letters, student checklists, and transfer documents from the University of Farmington were fake, all part of a massive scheme by ICE aimed at exposing student visa fraud. But those we spoke to say they thought it was an accredited online university. Everything was completely set up. About 600 Indian students and one Palestinian student signed up, so they were only taking international students and they were targeting specific nationalities. Anna Nathanson is one of the attorneys representing the students in a lawsuit against the U.S. government, accusing Homeland Security of breach of contract by luring foreign students who were already in the U.S. into paying tuition for classes that ultimately never materialized. So ICE is still holding on to the $6 million cumulative in collected tuition fees. The students and their attorneys say the feds posing as university officials kept giving excuses why the online classes hadn't started, but kept asking for more money. You didn't think that was suspicious? Initially, no. Initially, no. Later on, after one semester, you know, we got suspicious. So whenever we, whenever we asked them in the phone, they said, like, you know, there will be classes soon. Many frustrated students even tried to transfer to another school. And the undercover ICE agents refused to sign off on their transfer requests they received. So they were deported. Were you shocked or what? I'm shocked and I'm scared. Because I'm an, uh, I'm an alien here. I'm, non, I'm a non-immigrant and um, I don't know what to do. I was nervous and I was shivering. Their lawsuit against the government had been tossed out, but recently the U.S. Court of Appeals said it can move forward. We were all ecstatic, as were the students. They're seeking the return of tuition money and hoping their lawful visas will be reinstated. So all this uh, is unforgettable. It's kind of a nightmare for me still. We lost our time. We lost our money. We lost our uh, physical and mental health because of this operation. 7 News reached out to Homeland Security for comment. So far, no response. In Farmington Hills, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. Many eyes are on Metro Detroit for